Okay, there is a bad news. I just lost my all of the Days X Mavic 2 footages from the SD card. I have no idea what happened to the SD card, but once I just inserted it to the <coughs> MacBook Pro, it started saying me you need to format. And when I inserted it back to the Mavic Pro, it was not reading the files. Now, when I had emailed to send this, they asked me to get a rescue software and get the files back. But yeah, since I just shoot on 10K, I mean 10 bit and 4K. So video files were not able to be recovered. I just recovered my photos, but anyways, I mean, it's not going out of my head because I just lost all of those files, those fall colors, Colorado River aerial footage, they were absolutely spectacular. <laughs> anyways, since I have shot few of it yesterday, I'm just going to make the video live. So let's get back to the video. Morning, so it's day six, nine a.m. right now. And today I'm going to drive from Grand Junction to Glenwood Springs. Six. All right. Thank you. Done with the first 20 kilometers, went ahead and filled the tank full and just reached I guess the place name is Clifton and I can still see fall colors all around me but this is like near to the Grand Junction Airport so it's NFZ, cannot get the drone up but I can just show you those fall colors over there, over here, over here towards the end and just look at this Pahado, what the heck? It looks so Hollywood. Mm. Can you see those structures? Oh hell. Right out of a movie set. Alright, let's drive. Where do we go from Done with the first 50 kilometers and just reached La Bet and look at those fall colors. Poisa Utiala. Utiala. Look at this. Ooh, creamy fall colors. Wow. This is just so sick. done with the first 75 kilometers I guess and just look at these views <laughs> so I just came all the way from that side and we will continue with this more 60 kilometers to go. Let's drive. Done 
done with the first 150 kilometers, more 20 kilometers for me to reach the hotel. Almost approaching Genut Springs and <laughs> the phone is up, doing a happy lap. So I'm just sitting and was reading something. So you need to look at those views. This is the Colorado River. Last 120 kilometers, I have been passing all over by the side of Colorado River. And look at those mountains, huge. And the drone is up. Where did it go? Okay, I will see over there. And it's on. Uh, four minutes, more four minutes to go. All right. So, got to go. He's the hotel get my stuff done <coughs> then we'll be if i have the time then maybe we'll go ahead and do the hot springs visit as well because here in Greenwood springs the mountain range you have to go to the peak again i don't think i'm going to get time because it's already 2 p.m just like two or three more hours before the sun sets so that should be it where did it go come on okay i see that all right, let's drive. Glenwood Springs reached the hotel as well took like last six hours to drive it was total drive of 144 kilometers <laughs> there are a lot of activities here in Glenwood Springs but you need time I would suggest to keep at least two days for Glenwood Springs one day you can go to Aspen and Maroon Belts and get back and the second day do all of those activities as Glenwood Springs it's a huge town with a lot of activities absolutely recommended this is one of the best towns in my trip i guess so i'll be coming to here next year maybe or maybe next to next year with my wife and son absolutely recommended glenwood springs so i will just go ahead organize my files make maggie for lunch or dinner i don't know it's already 4 p.m right now so see you guys tomorrow <laughs>